All right, so uh, I am out today again, and uh, we're gonna be heading back to a timber rattlesnake den that we've become kind of familiar with this summer. And last time we were here, we saw some babies, but the time before that, we noticed that there were a lot of gravid females here, and we're hoping that that means that there's tons of babies here. So um, stick with us, and we're gonna check things out in a minute and hopefully we get something. All right, so we're coming up on the gestation site now. And like I was saying, there've been pregnant rattlesnakes here, or gravid rattlesnakes all summer. And we're gonna approach and see what's going on. All right, so we're trekking through some some waist high stuff. There's been two timbers hanging out here recently. Last time I stepped a little closer to them than what's comfortable, so I'm trying to give quite a bit of breathing room this time. You're supposed to go through the other way. Well, maybe this is better. Yeah. Nope. All right, our first timber right here is moving away. I'm not seeing any babies yet. That looks gravid, doesn't it? Yeah. Interesting, so this one's pretty late to give birth. All right, we're gonna step on by this one. So just past that adult right there that looked like it was still gravid, I see at least two babies hanging out. See the adult in there? Oh yeah? Yeah. So I'm hoping that we can find a little pile somewhere. So, um, those last babies weren't quite piled up yet because the sun wasn't hitting their area. Uh, we've come back to this area that had some babies last time, about a week and a half ago. And you can see here's a shed. So it looks like the babies were on the move. I'm going to leave this where it is because they follow the scent trails of each other and their, and their mother back to the dens. So I'm just scoping this out. It looks like the babies aren't quite home here right now, or at least they're not basking. We'll have to come back later. All right, so we just came across a little pile of babies right here. This is perfect. I'm gonna set up my GoPro probably right here, and hopefully we can get the footage that I've been really wanting to get. All right, so I've got the GoPro set up and the timbers should pile up like right there. So uh, make sure to stick around towards the end of the video and you'll get that cool footage, hopefully. All right, so we've got a copperhead in the crack right there. This is the same two copperheads from last time, presumably. And then right here, you might be able to see, we've got the body of another copperhead just kind of chilling out. And look down here, Will. All right, we're just killing time, looking for, I don't know, snakes or whatever, while we wait for that thing to uh, to prime up and this walking stick was just crawling on Alex after some bushwhacking. That's kind of neat. Walking stick also known as like a stick insect. He's booking it now. <laughs> oh, oh. Watering. All right, well, we're gonna put this guy back in the bushes and, uh, well, I guess he'll put himself back in the bushes <laughs> and then we're gonna keep hiking around this habitat here. All right, well, we left for quite some time. Um, some timbers are still hanging out here, but I retrieved the GoPro. I'm hoping that there was a big pile while we were gone in like the hour. Um, and we're gonna check it out when I get home and we'll see that footage. For some reason though, this won't stop recording. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's really annoying. If anyone has any solutions to that, this that sort of weird unresponsiveness happens to this thing all the time and uh, it annoys me. So <laughs> any advice is welcome. So we were just walking out and I just noticed that there's a pile of little babies right here and the mother on the backside of this rock. Let's see if we can get a good look. Here's a bunch of little babies hanging out. And I just see a glimpse of the mother's rattle. 
and her body somewhere back there, but... She's not under the rock, she's draped over the grass. So we just noticed the, the mother retreated back in there. We were about to leave, but we noticed there's a whole lot of babies right here. That is super cool. Now that is a pile. That's pretty spectacular. Holy smokes. Wow. That's where I wish I set the GoPro up. Alright, we're not going to bother these guys too, too much. We're going to go check out that first pile we saw and see if it's fully out now. Alright, here looking at our mother and some babies. I'm going to see if I can gather some footage. We're just kind of hanging out and uh, enjoying the, the view, just observing quietly and just seeing what we see. It's pretty cool. There is a little baby timber that's basically got like a stripe down its back, which is pretty neat. So we're gonna see what happens here. You can see there's lots of flies around, which might mean that she gave birth kind of recently. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, cool day out here. Um, thankful that we got to observe these rattlesnakes uh, pretty peacefully and cool stuff. I think the next segment of this video is gonna be us out tomorrow. We're gonna be looking for baby hognose snakes. So catch you guys then. All right, folks, it is the next morning, and after checking on those rattlesnakes yesterday, I think the move for today is going to be looking for hognose snakes, particularly baby hognose snakes, but the weather feels good to me, and I think we have a chance at really seeing anything, so I'll let you guys know. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's trying to go for my face. He's vicious. Oh, smoke. I don't know how I've dodged bites. You so haven't gotten bit yet. But he's like he in shed and cold. Massive. Cold racer. He's big and he wants my face. <laughs> oh. He literally he's just bitten himself. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. He's just missing hard. I'm too quick. <laughs> Catch me with a tie pan next. <laughs> Hit up Ricky Mac. <laughs> Big racer, kind of a brown nose. This thing is just massive. And he's poised for the uh, the strike. This is the first snake of the day. He's very, very cold. Which I guess makes sense for a snake this large, but sheesh. All right, letting this guy go. See you later, big fella. We're gonna keep hiking. All right, so we have been having a lot of trouble today turning one of these guys up. I don't know why, but I was walking by and I noticed, not sure if you guys can see it yet, 
check that little beauty out. That is gorgeous. Super, super neat. Excited to see this one. Nice light color. It's really beautiful. Little neonate hog. So uh, we're going to get some close-ups of this guy. Can you just change the color so it looks blue? Yeah. Don't worry, Al. Adorable little hog nose. I'm going to gently pick this little thing up. I just want you guys to see how tiny this is. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That is so cute. Yeah, this thing is just so cute and nice. Feels so much better now that we've just found something, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were having a hard time today with hog noses and snakes in general. We just saw a garter snake, which Alex saw when I wasn't there, and, uh, and that racer. Yeah, this guy does have a really prominent stripe on the head. Wow. So neat. Oh, what an adorable little guy. Love the pattern too. I'm hoping we see a couple more. Little guy. So cute. Little guy. It's a camera lens cap for scale. That's so cute. All right, I'm gonna pick this guy up and we're gonna let him go. Oh, look at that belly. All right, time to let this guy go back. There's little bushes here. He'll go off and do his thing. Pretty neat. We're gonna keep looking. Alex just spotted our next baby hog who is on the move. Come here, little guy. Oh, he's hooding up. He thinks he's tough. Huh. He's trying to hiss. He's pooping. Look at that. That's just awesome. This one's a little tubbier than the last one. Yeah, this guy's got some red and pink on the on the hood area. Wonder, it's always a wonder what these guys will look like as they get older. I'm gonna hand them off to you. Yeah, this one's a little spazzier. Oh, it does have a nice little yellow hood. All right, we're gonna put this guy back. Keep the encounter pretty short because we already got our pictures of that last one. But see you later, little buddy. Definitely one of my favorite species of snakes. All right, let's keep hiking. All right, we got another baby hog. Another real light colored one, kind of periscoping at us right here. He's just out on the move. That's really neat. Kind of starting to widen his head a little bit. See what we're dealing with here. Huh. Oh, he looks like he's gonna play dead. Oh, come on, buddy. Really? Come on, dude. Whoa! He just threw up a newt. That's really. That's unfortunate, but that's really cool. That's really interesting. Did you know that they would eat newts? I think I had read that somewhere. But that's like... 
worth documenting or something. Unfortunately, this guy played dead, which is never the intention, and uh, wasn't even actually touching him when he played dead. It's not the end of the world, um, but sometimes that's the way it goes. Some are easier to play dead than others. Like that first one had no interest in playing dead, while this one is just chomping at the bit to uh, roll over poop and vomit. So um, it looks like he's kind of coming back to life now. Um, but interestingly enough, this guy actually vomited up the tail of an eastern newt, which I don't know if he just ate the tail and had some struggle with this newt, or if he ate the whole thing and only vomited up the tail. But that's something I think I had read before, is that the, the young ones will eat the um, eastern newts before they're big enough to eat toads. Um, though it's never something that I'd actually ever witnessed. But super, super interesting thing to observe, as unfortunate as it is. Um, and I'm just going to let this guy roll off my hand and keep going along. And uh, maybe I'll leave him... Oh, he's still half playing dead. Maybe I'll leave his newt tail right here. And if he wants to wake up and check it out, then uh, he can go for it. All right, cool. We're going to keep hiking. All right, number four, potentially one that we saw earlier, is right here. Honestly, this one looks different. It looks tan. I think this could be a fourth. I see him still. Come on, buddy. Show yourself. He went up under in here. Alright, well that guy's hiding. I'll see if I can get an angle at it. But we've already seen a couple, so no need to, to bother him too much. Yeah, we'll just let that one do its thing and we're gonna keep hiking. All right, what I'm about to show you is very strange, but I flipped one log and look what was under it. <laughs> All of these newts, like one log on grass, that's insane. <laughs> oh my God. Alright, well, this was certainly pretty strange. I don't know why they were all hanging out in the same spot, but letting these guys go here and uh, we're gonna keep looking around. Little water snake here, next snake of the day. Here goes the water snake. Alright, garter snake crossing right here. I'm gonna let him be. It looks like he has some sort of injury on the back half, interestingly. There's a over there. But cool. Green frog. Woo! See ya, buddy. All right, so uh, pretty cool seeing those baby hogs. Um, I'm gonna wrap things up for the day and head home. I have some things to do back at my house. But if you guys made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this one.